Hey, Jason, you got my hat? You got my hat? I need that as well. Still. You won't give it over. Take it out, Chris. You see that skin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. 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 Alright, I'm ready for you to box it. Oh, shit, man, I can get used to this. <laughs> <laughs> gold diet and straight gold. Yes, yes, this is Uncle T Boxing. Jeez. And I'm here with uh, someone who just won something. Can you tell me what you just won? The IBF European title. Look at this beautiful bar. This is beautiful, isn't it? Look I at like, that. I like that. Was that gold? Oh, mm -hmm. must be your side. I don't know. You're talking. What's this, man? <laughs> <laughs> JP like yeah. it. I'm looking blinged up, isn't it? Right? Just look <laughs> good, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> it, man. Wear that British shirt. Get me. Wear that Commonwealth shirt. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, so, how did you think um, the bout went today? Uh, it went good, man. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, wow. To be honest, you're with me. Um, I don't, really remember. <laughs> I, don't really re I don't really remember a lot till you know I look back at it. But my team saying I did very good. You know they said it was um, a fought well game plan. So I'm guessing it's good. I, I, I take their advice. So I'm guessing it was good. Yeah, it's not really easy for a southpaw to fight a southpaw. How did you find that? Well, it's um, mad because um, it's not. It's a bit. It's different than orthodox. But we've used it. We've been sparring with lots of sparring with Luke Campbell and that. So Luke Campbell's world class, you know what I mean? Obviously Dan Foley's world class, but Luke Campbell's another level. So if you can hold your own against someone like Luke Campbell, then I know I wouldn't be able to he Dan Foley would have caused no problem. No disrespect to him, you know. But I just know what I'm about. Yeah. So I'm, I'm guessing obviously you won your preparation for this bout. Um was was that nice and smooth? Your the training and that sparring Yeah partners? man, you know what I mean? Like obviously you see I'm training with a uh, man like Scott, Tony Borg, John Pittman, Craig over there, you know what I mean? My brother, you know what I mean? Top like top co quality coaches, you know what I mean? I'm training with, so they, they prepare me well, man. Get me the best sparring, give me the best quality training, best nutrition, everything spot on, you know? So it's great, man. I'm, I'm not worried about nothing. So uh, how are you going to spend this Christmas now? Oh, for eating loads of food, man. Eating loads of food. <laughs> yeah, I'm weight and stuff and all the sacrifices you have to put in for this fight. So I'm just happy Christmas is only around the corner. I can spend it with my girl, my bro, my mum. My my son, my dad, my whole family, you know what I mean? Get me back in the gym Monday, training over Christmas anyway, but at least I can cut back and eat some food, nice chicken and stuff, yeah? Well, they say heavy, heavy is the way for any, anyone who wears the crown. That's it, man, that's it. Now you, you're you not a target. <laughs> hey, I'm you ready, man. Anybody no, wants to come get me, I'm ready, you know? You can't be calling people out, people are going to be calling you out now. <laughs> that's it. No, but in terms of you moving forward, um, what would you like? I want anything that can get me closer to the world titles, you know, because that's what I'm in this for, you know. I want the world titles, so anything can, what can get me there. Obviously, if they're not available, then <laughs> stuff what can get me there, like um, world title eliminators, I don't know, if I can get the British to come around them things, you know, whatever's available, what's good about. Really, I want the world, but obviously, I know my coach, they all like the British and the Commonwealth, so they say I should get that, so I don't it's mind getting It's that. always nice to go through the transition. I want all the belts, you know, all of them, so. <laughs> you want all the belts, you're greedy. Belts. All the, yeah, literally, I'm about collecting that here, you know. Okay. Tell, tell me about um, your relationship between you and like um, Hora Davis. Um, is, it, is that is that a guy that you would want to fight in the future or you see yourself fighting? Nah, that's my bro, man. You know what I mean? I, I don't fight my bro. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, you feel honest, me and Hora, we joke about it a lot and we say, you know, if MDK phoned us and said, yo, there's a meal on the table to fight each other, yo, we're taking it up, man. we got to yeah. feed our family. That's what we're in yeah. for. But at the same time, nah, man, you know what I mean? We ain't looking to fight each other. That's bro. we got love for each other. He helped me out with my camp, helped him out with camps. We, we phone each other on a, on a regular basis, like that's my, my, my bona fide bro, you know, so yeah, okay. I, got, I got mad love for him. Okay, and um, what do you think about someone like Jack Cutchell, another Southpaw that, that fought him, would that be someone in, in the future? 100%, 100%, yo, Jack Cutchell, where you at bro, I don't mind you, like if you're going to get me close to the world title, he's got a world ranking, we'll come collect that too, we'll take that WBO, Intercontinental, in, in, uh, what's, it? what's it Scott, Intercontinental, Intercontinental. We, we'll take that, we'll take whatever it is, we'll, we'll take all of them, you know, so yeah. Jack Cutchell wants it, he's with MTK, I know they can make that fight, you know what I mean, I'm not trying to be cocky and calling anybody out, but as I said, I want anything that can get me close to a world title, so if he's a step forward what can get me there, then that's what I want man, you know, so take it as a compliment Jack, take it as a compliment. Okay. Well, as we know as boxers, boxers will fight anybody. So it's not that always down to you who you're gonna fight. fight. So I'm gonna I'm gonna will. put the camera to somewhere else. Who who who? Okay. who would you like him to fight next? Um whatever makes sense. You no know, we'll have to sit down and have a good think about what's what. But we'll take whatever makes sense. You know, if the money's right and it's gonna get him where he wants to be, then then that's where we're gonna go. Ideally, would you want him to defend that belt or fight for something else like a British? Um, to be honest with you, like MTK seemed to be making all the right moves, so you know we have to sit down and, and speak to um, speak to the management 
and, and work out what's best for him. But he's already proved time and time again he fights anybody, you know, and, and the future's not going to be any different. <laughs> so, to have a know, what do you think of him calling out Jack Cutchell? You think he's experienced enough for that? Listen, Jack Cutchell is a great fighter, there's no denying that, you know, but telling you now, he's got a habit of turning up and upsetting people's nights, mate. Okay. Well, I'll be keeping. This is the first time I'm actually watching him live, and I was well entertained. And I'll be keeping keeping my eyes peeled to what he does in the future. But well, um, I'll never get it back to him. And he's videoing his. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, say no more, bro. Yeah. Sorry, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, John. Champ, let me leave you to celebrate with your thing. Enjoy your enjoy your Christmas and New Year. Said, anybody wants it. Call me, man. Let's get this. Let's go get these titles, man. Let's get this money. Get me. I'm out where, here where are you from, though? What part of India? From you? Gloucester, you know, my okay. city, G City, Gloucester. Get me. Shout out, man, like Box here. Yeah. It's a good sponsor of mine, you know what I mean? RSG, you know what I mean? Done done a lot for us, you know? Get me. Shout out, Tone here. Get me. Travelled far. Big get Tone. Me. Bro over there. Hey, Stretch. hey, hey, this is me. This is me. Get me. Want me again? Yo. Bang, this is me. As I Bang. see you. I, I can't miss you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> Stretch, great. <laughs> Billy over here, best cut man out here. Get me. Mark March, yo, go check his album out. Get me. This guy's a bad boy. Let me just say, yeah, let me just say. <laughs> Riddy, Riddy is a top notch fighter. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's got a good heart and he's a good, he's a good lad, but he's a top notch, top notch fighter. And I'm telling you from now, the team that he's got around him is strong, and I fully believe in it. So watch what's coming and from 2019 onwards. And look at this beautiful blondie right here. She yep, 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 she's yep, yep, a beautiful yep, kid right now. Get me. Yep. Look at her. You know what I mean? Gas right now. What's your name? Yeah. Yeah. Look at her. What's your name? 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 <laughs> Well, guys, thanks, and um, congrats, the whole team, and all the best. Yeah, 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 yeah.